Hi everybody, this is Lynn Kelly. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to share a giant haul from the Dollar Tree with you. I can't believe how many things I got, but I have a lot to do with the upcoming holidays. And so I pretty much got, I hope, everything I'm going to need so I don't have to make another trip to the store. To start with, I would like to show you these two vases that I plan on using for a tablescape or a few tablescapes. And I'm going to use tissue paper and Mod, Mod Podge around the outside. And then I'll probably put a, um, probably twinkle lights inside. I don't know that the uh, votive candle will put off enough light but anyway so i'll probably do a tutorial on that and then for okay let's go to mardi gras first okay actually this is a table runner i got for a dollar and i can use this for the mardi gras table setting or the St. Patrick's Day setting. So it is 12 inches by 72 inches. So it's a good size. And I might want to add my own little tassel at the tip of each end. Okay, so let me set that aside. And then with Mardi Gras, okay, I'm going to take part in a Mardi Gras collaboration challenge. And so I, these are the things I bought for the challenge that I did not already have. And I have a bunch of stuff uh, set aside that I'm not gonna show you right now. But this is a mask. Isn't that pretty? And then, I have another mask. Okay. Which one do you like better? And then, some boas. Okay, this was really on the St. Patrick's Day aisle, but I'm using green, purple, and yellow, or gold, for Mardi Gras, so these green boas are great and then i came across these boas that have all the colors i want so so there we go and then an all purple one and how cool is that okay so um good thing i'm not allergic to feathers anyway that's a lot of bows and i'm not quite sure how i'm going to use them to decorate with but i'll figure it out and then i have these beads gold and green and I think those are really nice i also got some glasses snazzy glasses just for fun and a headband just because I'm a goofball, and of course, I have to buy goofball stuff. Okay. <laughs> and then, check it out. Party blowers are fringed squawkers, as the package says. I think I might use those to set at each place setting. And then, okay. I didn't buy these. My husband bought these because I didn't want to go to the dollar store. And he picked them up for me. And then I ended up going myself. So look at all these beads. And I'll keep some after I'm done with the challenge. And then I'm going to give some to the grandkids because I think they'll get a big kick out of those. Okay, so that's the Mardi Gras stuff. All right. 
next is the St. Patrick's Day stuff. So they have these gigantic shamrocks. So the clovers, got four of these in case I want to use them as placemats. But actually, one of these could go in the center of a table setting. And then, okay, this is not for, it's not for St. Patrick's Day, but I got this for our coffee station. Hot, fresh coffee is the best way to start the day. And this is a nice mat to put under the coffee pot. So if the coffee spills, it doesn't stain the grout in between the tile on the counter. So that was a good price. Next, a chalkboard. It's cute whether you use it as a chalkboard or not though, and you can hang it up. I thought that was so cute. So if I do a coffee station for St. Patrick's Day, this would be really cute to hang above that. And I got some little hats, five pieces, and these would look really cute on a place, each place setting. And some gold coins for the pot at the end of the rainbow. And then this guy Ah, looks like Justin Turner of the Dodgers <laughs> and my son only my son's beard is not red it has a red tint a little bit of red okay I mean he is Irish Kelly okay so isn't that a cute leprechaun or what <laughs> and I don't know how I'm gonna use them to decorate but I'll figure something out. Okay, then I thought these would make cute coasters or, I don't know, maybe decorate a wreath. Uh, figure something out. It comes 12 in a pack, so that's a great deal. Headband. And then I got two signs. I think these are so cute. Luck of the Irish and Irish wishes shamrock kisses. Those are pretty darn cool. And if I want, I can add glitter or bows, ribbon, spruce it up, maybe some jute, raffia. I don't know. I can add something to these if I want to spruce them up. But for a dollar each, I thought that was a great deal. And then this, I thought this was really cute. Look at that. Hanging decoration. Okay. That's, that's it for St. Patrick's Day. Now, for Easter or spring, I found these flowers. So I can use one for a centerpiece to, and to set candles and stuff on. Whoops, let me get the glitter side. One side is trimmed with glitter. I don't know if you can see that. Or I can use them for uh, placemats. This is so cute. Happy Easter! Look at that. Great deal for a dollar. And I got a wreath to join in a wreath collaboration challenge. And then I got two of the wire ones you get two for a dollar that's a great deal okay and then a lantern 
Look at how pretty that is. So it lights up. It takes, you have to put your own batteries in it. And it takes two AAA batteries. But look at how pretty, look at how pretty that is. I love the colors. So that would make a nice centerpiece for a tablescape. Silverware, all right. And then my husband got paint brushes because he likes to paint. And then I got a bunch of flowers, a bunch of silk flowers. Oh my gosh. I went crazy with the silk flowers because they're so pretty. Okay, here are the roses. That's an iris. Iris. Another iris. Okay, so three different colored irises. Isn't that pretty? And then, this is Heather. And I, I got another one of those. This is onion grass. And I think that because you can spread it apart <laughs> and then it has butterflies but they look like flowers to me and okay whoops wisteria lavender i love real lavender Here's a plant. Greenery bouquet. <laughs> I don't know what kind of plant it is. Hydrangeas, my favorite. Forsythia, or Forsythia. I don't know how to say it, but it's pretty. Lilies. More lavender. More heather. Isn't that pretty? Let me get the small one. I got some really long pieces. Okay, orchids. And then all these long stemmed ones. Okay, this one is delphinium. One, two, three delphiniums. This is a pussy willow. And I didn't see any others or I would have bought a couple more. But that's a nice piece. And then dogwood. cherry blossom and forsythia or forsythia okay I also bought a little bird a goldfinch to go probably on one of the wreaths I love birds I love real birds and decorative birds. Okay, I also got some tea towels, which I'm thinking I could cut them in half and make napkins, four napkins. If I do a country um, table setting or a rooster setting, because I have roosters all over my kitchen. And then, some bling. Look at that. The diamond wrap. That could go a long way to add some bling to something. And then this. Okay. A wind twister. Check it out.
How cool is that? I love it. And boy, does that go great with this little mermaid tail. It says, be murmur, be mermazing. Be mermazing. <laughs> My granddaughters will love this. So I don't know where I'm gonna hang it or set it to use for a decoration, but this is going out on our patio. And that's it for all the decorative stuff. My husband went crazy. These are all the lids for the plastic bins he bought. And in good grief, here's more paintbrushes. He likes to paint and he likes to let the grandkids paint when they come. Okay, so we got all these different colored bins. We are putting like toys in them, put the Lincoln logs in some, and then some of the other small pieces in others. And then for my crafts, craft stuff, I really need to get it all organized. And he got me these clear ones, which they don't always have them in the Dollar Tree. So I was so glad they got some more in because I really need to get, oops, really need to get all my craft stuff in order. And so I think, I think that's it. Do you think that's enough? I think that's a lot of stuff. Let me know which item you think was the best deal and what you would have liked if you were shopping and saw that they have oh i forgot to show you the glass i got four glass plates and four glass smaller plates dessert plates so those will be great for any tablescape that i use and i don't know if i'll decorate them on the underside but anything i put underneath you'll be able to see through. So if I have some really nice chargers or placemats, the glass plates will be great. And so I think that's pretty much it. I, I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but that's enough. That's a big haul. And I think it's gonna go a long, long way. Uh, duh, okay, I forgot to show you all the fairy garden stuff unbelievable okay when i stopped in at the dollar tree a couple weeks ago they didn't have a whole lot of stuff i got this three gnomes for the fairy garden and i need to do a new fairy garden because the one i already have the inside one on a tray there is no room left so i need to do a new fairy garden but okay i got another pack of trolls the grandkids love this stuff when they come over to play. Not trolls. Another pack of gnomes. So cute. And here's one lonely gnome. And he has a bird bath and a flower fountain. And then here's three fairies in one package. Look at how cute they are. One is reading a book, a fairy after my own heart. And then look at this, a little mushrooms, birdhouse, welcome sign actually it's not a mushroom it's a lantern lantern welcome sign and a bird on a birdhouse and then here's an owl a snail and another snail and the one snail it looks like he has a frog or something on his back <laughs> Then they had all these cute little houses. 
there's one. Now I have to warn you, I bought one of these last year and they break really easy. So my grandkids will have a warning to be very careful with them. Because if you drop it, that's it. Okay, this one says welcome. And then this one looks just like that one. So they're twins. And then, and then this one with the flowers. I think this is my favorite. Look at how cute that is. It even has a little window above the door. How cute. Okay, and then they had a bridge. The little details. Ferry crossing to go by the bridge. These are so cute. And then I got two butterfly chairs. Two porcupines on a seesaw. Stacked boxes. <laughs> so, so cute. Oops. Gotta be careful. Okay, and then the little fences. I got two of them. Oh, that feather goes to the boa. Okay. Here we go. Pretty darn cute, huh? And then two little seats with the arbor above it. How cute. It's just so cute. And then my husband loved this. The real, little red truck, it's actually rust colored. And check it out, a trailer. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. So now I am finished sharing everything that I got in the haul. And I hope you enjoyed all the fairy stuff because I think they are just delightful. And my next fairy garden will not be as detailed as the one I already have because it took me way too long to make it. So this next fairy garden will be a quick one and I'll share it with you whenever I finish it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope you give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you will receive future videos and hit the bell icon twice so it will send you notifications when new videos come out. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you at the next video. Take care. Bye. Au revoir, Pee Wee. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Not too soon, you big baboon. I've got a parenting story about that one. Okay, I'm getting silly because I'm tired. Have a great day. Bye.